Hello all, this is Prafal from Informatica GCS. In this video, we'll see how can we configure DB2 database as a repository database. So here is the agenda of today's video. Firstly, we'll talk about the prerequisites to configure DB2 database as a repository database. Then we'll see the steps to configure DB2 database as a repository database, followed by a quick demo. So here are the prerequisites to configure DB2 database as a repository database. So as we know that Informatica uses native connectivity to connect to DB2 database. So we need to install the supported DB2 clients on our Informatica server machine. So to install the same, you can take your DBA's help or database administrator's help to install the DB2 client or your Informatica server machine. You can also refer to the PAM that is nothing but the product availability matrix for supported DB versions. Post the installation of the DB2 client, you need to set some environment variables before configuring the repository service on the admin console. So these are the some mandatory environment variables which needs to be set before configuring the repository service. So here we have first environment variable that is DB2 DIR. As the name suggests DIR, it's a DB2 directory. So in this environment variable, we have to provide the installation directory where our DB2 client is installed. Next environment variable, we have path. In the path variable, we'll add bin to the DB2 directory. The main use of path is to launch the executables. So, but here we don't want to launch DB2. We just want to use it as a repository database. So it's not mandatory. Now coming to the third environment variable that is DB2 instance. So firstly, it's necessary to understand what instance means. So instance is nothing but a part of a server. So we can basically create n number of instances of a server. So here in DB2 instance, we are giving the connect string. So now as I said connect string, you are not familiar with this term now, but when we'll configure the repository on the admin console, you'll get to know about the connect string. Next environment variable which we have is LD library path. As the name suggests, libraries. So LD library path is used to launch the libraries which are associated with DB2 database. So here, what we'll do, we'll add slash lib to the DB2 directory. So make sure when you are uh, like setting these environment variables, so if you are creating the repository service on the admin console, you need to restart your services after setting these environment variables. But there is one more uh, possibility that you might be creating a repository during installation. So make sure that post installation, these environment variables are set. So now as now we talked about the environment variables, let's see a quick demo so that we can understand the same practically. So now I'm on my Informatica server machine. So as I have already set the environment variables, so let me show you my environment variables, which I had set. So these are the environment variables, which needs to be set before configuring DB2 database as a repository database. So as you can see, I have set DB2 DIR, that is nothing but the installation directory. Then we have DB2 instance, then we have LD library path, and the path environment variable. So as we have set the environment variables and now we have to go to admin console and configure the repository service. So to do so, firstly we'll start our services, then we'll go to admin console to configure the same. So let's start our services. So once our services are started, we'll go to admin console and configure repository. So now I am on my admin console. So now we want to make a repository. So we'll go to services and nodes. We'll go to actions, then new. And now as we have to configure a repository service, so we'll go to power center repository service, select. Now it is asking for the name of the repository service. So it is up to you what name you want to give to this particular repository service. So suppose I am giving the repository service name as repo db underscore 2. 
So this is my repository service thing. Then we have the license. I'll select license. Then I have the primary node. So here I am selecting my node one as a primary node. Then I'll click next. Now we have to enter the database type. So as here we are using DB2 database as a repository database. So we'll select DB2. Then we'll have to enter our username and password. Username as and password means database username and database password. So now I'll enter my database username and my database password. So now I have to give connect string. The connect string which we gave in our environment variable in the DB2 instance. So this is what the connect string is. So here we will give our connect connect string. Now after giving connect string, we will select the code page. Now in the code page, we will select UTF-8 encoding of Unicode. Then as it's a new repository and no contents exist, I'll select no contents exist and then finish. So now we'll wait for a repository service to start. So now here, as you can see, our power center repository service is available having name repo underscore db underscore two. So this is how we can use db2 database as a repository database. If you want more details on how to configure db2 database as a repository database, you can refer to the following knowledge base article and the product documentation as well. Regarding this video, you can share your valuable feedback on support videos at the rate informatica.com. You can also use our Twitter handle to show your support. Thanks a lot.